profile store like the Gucci store. I, I don't know. It's a mystery to me, man. These I keep going back to this. Like, I haven't heard one rational explanation for why they would even try or even consider doing something like this. Um, I want to go back to saying this to your listeners and to everyone that may be listening. Hence, this is why I try to mentor young black males to help them think a little bit clearer. Because think about it, man. I heard you talking about dad and how he had this saying. Right. Um, manners will take you a, a whole, long way. A long way in life. Yeah. yeah, manners will take you a long way. Well, he always used to say stuff like this. Think. Right. Think. That dude, was dude, dude, thing. dude, dude, can you just think? Are you thinking? And, man, more than half of the time before we do everything, if we just really just sit back, settle down, and just think for a second, you'd be like, man, I ain't doing that dumb shit. <laughs> Right. I'm not doing that. Right. I have never succumbed to peer pressure. That never. Makes, that makes no sense for me to do that. Why would I do that? LeAngelo Ball, why would you do that, son? And you're right. So if three of them go in this store, and this is crazy. We're spending too much time it's on okay. this. It's okay. It's okay. It's for talk. It's, it's, it's interesting. It is. If three of them go in the store, you can't believe that at the same time all three of them said, let's steal. Let's Deal. So what that tells me is one of them said, huh, I bet you wouldn't steal that, and the, and the other one did it, or and told the other one, I bet you wouldn't steal that and put it in your pocket. Somebody had to dare somebody to do it. I think they had to have been high, and I don't even know what else around the story, but it's just it's crazy. I wonder, I wonder if we'll ever find out what really happened because we can't possibly know. It, nothing being high, um, somebody daring somebody, none of that makes sense to me for the LiAngelo Ball kid. I don't know where the other two kids come from. And, 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 and honestly, man, these days, these college kids are getting some kind of stipend. They may not be getting paid, but they're getting enough of a stipend to the point where they don't have to make their own block hot right. by doing something stupid like this. Come on now. They took an international trip to China. I, I bet you they're staying in. A four season someplace, man. Right, right. They probably stay in the four seasons or something like that. A four season someplace, man. Yes. Rich Carlton. Yes. Had to have been. Yes. There's no question. There's no question. Are you stealing shit? Very disappointing, Leandro Ball, man. And honestly, nothing good's going to come from this for him. It's just too stupid. Now, they can they can recover from this, kind of a little bit like Cam. They're going to have to keep, whenever they get the opportunity to be in front of a Cam or something like that, they're going to have to apologize. They're going to have to apologize for a whole long time before they let this shit die. <sighs> it's your boy One Lies too, man. That's right. My mama called me Ryan. It's the Ryan Stewart Show right here on the Two Live Stews Radio Network where you can find us at Two Live Stews Radio.com. Um, shouts out to the Atlanta Falcons for doing something I did not think they were going to do with or without Ezekiel Elliott. Shouts out to him. You thought the Cowboys were going to win, huh? I thought the Cowboys were going to come in here and roll. Another shout out goes to my man Claiborne, the defensive end, who had six sacks in the game, which was a Falcons record. Alstein won. Five sack record held by, I believe, Chuck Smith a few years ago. Um, they said the Claiborne dude, because he got six sacks, pushed his total to eight mm -hmm. and got $750,000. Right. What do you think about that whole thing? Like, at some point, you got to make an adjustment, right? After the third sack, right? Don't uh, you get him help? Don't you put a tight end up there? The, Don't you bring in a blocking back? The starter wasn't there, and they were already down to number two who ended up getting benched after the third sack, I believe. And then number three came in, and his head was spinning like a turnstile as well. Mm -hmm. So, yes, you move your tight end over there. You keep a fullback or a running back over there. And their job is to go in there and help that dude who can't stop that dude. But the Cowboys refused to do that. Right. I don't know why. Right. Yeah, it was crazy, man. I don't know why. Uh, so what do you think? Do you think the Falcons can now get on the right track they had been well, they lose, lose four out of their five games well, before this weekend. Do you think that the Falcons from last year uh, that made it to the Super Bowl are back? What I was going to say, man, is I do not think the Falcons are back. But I do think when you run the ball like they did, where they ran the ball 30 times between two guys, and they had more than 30 rushes, Freeman ended up getting hurt. Mm -hmm. So you run the ball 20 times with Coleman, who gives you 83 yards at four-plus yards a clip. And then the Warkin came in and ran the ball nine yards for 23, nine times for 23 yards. I think what we're seeing, the fruits of their labor came from them insisting to run the ball. Right. Which is, which is what we've been saying all year long. <laughs> which is what I've been saying, man. 
if Sarkeesian gets off of his, my offense is holier than thou, um, and let's establish the line of scrimmage, this Atlanta team can get back to doing what they did last year, which is running the freaking ball. Right. Yeah, my, my man said uh, at the tailgate when Freeman went out, when he was walking him out, he's like, oh, you know where y'all could beat us now. I said, Coleman is just as good. I would prefer Freeman, but Coleman is just as good. So if they give him the ball 20 times, they'll still win. And they did. Right. Julio wasn't targeted no crazy amount of times. He had six catches, averaging nine yards. The Hooper kid had six catches. So he only had three. So, yeah, I mean, it's not about throwing the ball around the yard for this Falcons team. It's about establishing the line of scrimmage and pressuring the opposing quarterback. Monday night, uh, they on the road in Seattle. The 12th man, this is going to be a good one. And they need this. They need this win big. They need this. If you look at the standings right now, man, they on the outside looking in, sir, as far as the NFC. And they should be because Carolina's playing decent ball, even though they keep tripping themselves up. And the Saints are playing incredible football right now, running the ball with six or seven guys a game. So both me and you, uh, to a fault, Pick the Falcons to make it back to the Super Bowl this year from the man, NFC. I was believing the hype, man. Why not? So midseason report. Who do you think now is the odds on favorite from the NFC to make it to the Super Bowl? I'll bet my life on the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow, over my, Carolina I'll, and New Orleans? I'll bet my life on the Philadelphia Eagles. You know what, because man? Because Wentz is playing the best quarterback position out of all the other teams you talked about. I disagree. If Cam can play like they played this past weekend. Listen, man. And they've been up and down. They'll win one week and they'll lose next week. Who they play, man? Stop it, man. They play Miami. Um, and who's their quarterback, Miami's quarterback? Uh, it's Jay Cutler, man. Stop it. They suck. Um, I don't believe in Cam no more, man. I like the player, but I cannot continue to champion his cause when he acts like he acts and dresses like he dresses. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. Well, I, I'm not championing I Cam. Can't do it. I can't I think, do it no more. I think Carolina, between Carolina and the, and the, and the Eagles, I think Carolina's the better team. They got more experience. They got a quarterback that made it to the Super Bowl, what, three years ago? Yes. What was it? Yes. Um, and a if Cam uh, plays like he played this weekend? Yeah. I agree, but I, I can't. But I'm, you can't trust that is no, what you're saying. I, I'm over Cam Newton, man, and his, and his childish behavior. It, 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 it's, it's, now, it's now leaped. I'm sorry. It's now slipped onto the field right. with me and Cam. Uh, tonight, let's, let's talk a quick basketball story before we get out of here. You're listening to the Ryan Stewart Show on the Two Lost Shoes Radio Network. Golden State on the road in Boston, TNT, 8 p.m. The Boston Celtics have won 13 games in a row. What side of the fence were you on Kyrie Irving leaving LeBron in Cleveland? He was a big dummy. Why would he leave LeBron? What are your thoughts about that and how he's playing? He's the leader of the Boston Celtics right now, uh, leading in like four different categories. No Gordon Hayward. What are your thoughts about Kyrie Irving? Uh, few, I can't remember if you were one of those things. people saying he was stupid or not for leaving Cleveland. I said he was stupid for leaving the best player in the game. But I totally got him wanting his own situation. That's what I said. I, 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 I didn't agree with him leaving, but I totally understood. And it's early. It's early. Oh, well, I, that's one, another point I'm going to make. Um, this is 15 games in. I mean, so many people are saying the, the the Ben Simmons kid is the best rookie they've ever seen on 15 games of work. Right. His you, body of work ain't big enough for you to say he's the best rookie ever. And you feel the same way about Lonzo being the worst rookie ever, right? No way in the world can you say that right now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, the kids had two triple doubles. How you going to take him? How you going to call him terrible? Thank you, Rookies man. don't get triple doubles. Look at you being all sensible and shit. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. I think Ben Simmons is going to be a great one. But for everybody saying, oh, he's the best rookie ever. Are you kidding me? You forget about Magic Johnson? Mm hmm. Who in the finals was the finals MVP? 45 points. You forgetting about LeBron James? You, you forgetting about Shaq? Mm hmm. Lamar Odom was an incredible rookie. Right. So, so yeah, but I think Kyrie's in a situation where they can catch a wave, but I don't believe in the team yet. Mm -hmm. And Cleveland's sitting at number nine in the East, being eight and seven. Mm hmm. Um, is disgusting to me, but I still think they're the best team in the East right now. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, I still think they're the best team in the East. You're not going to tell me you believe in the Pistons, you believe in the Wizards, you believe in the Raptors, and my New York Knicks are fifth. You're not going to tell me you believe in any of those teams I just talked about more so than the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James. But quickly on the Knicks, Knicks been playing pretty decent. But you don't believe is what I'm saying. No, I don't believe they really okay. got a well, chance to win a championship. And it's my team. I love it. All right. Um, uh, the kid that we had here in Atlanta last year, um, Hardaway. Hardaway hit Hardaway a huge Jr. shot last night. Right. When he shot the ball, I knew Goodwiller was going in. He's that type of player. Right. But you're still not going to take that cast of characters, even with Porzingis, and put them ahead of Cleveland. I think Cleveland is still trying to figure themselves out. They got a lot of old pieces that need to learn LeBron and what he wants done for them to have success. And I know for a fact that LeBron is willing to sacrifice a part of the season for the ultimate goal, which is playing basketball at the end of the year. I know that. He's done it too many times. How much you pay for your natural gas? I have no clue, man. I don't pay the bills. Georgia Natural right now has 37 cent per therm going on. Uh -huh. And a $25 credit. It's worth checking out. Because okay. I'm paying over a dollar a therm. And it's, my LBs are so smart, they do this kind of stuff. Right. They call me like, bro, you got to call Georgia Natural. I don't know what you're paying, but you're not paying this low. So I just want to pass that on to you too, man. Think about it. Okay. How much does a therm cost? Well, it all depends on what they're selling it for. Georgia Natural selling it for, for .37. My company right now selling it for $1.09. What's a therm? I don't have time to get into it, man, but it's what you it's, it's how you heat your house. Right. You're 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 gonna you're gonna spend more the next three months, you're gonna spend more money on therms to keep your house warm right. than you have early in this part of the year. I'm just joking, I heard the term before. Okay. All right. It's what they measure heat by or something like that, right? Hey man, um episode sixteen's in the books. I yes, tried sir. to tell y'all, I tried to tell y'all them bulldogs wasn't real, man. I appreciate everybody back at the station. Not the station, but <laughs> Where you get the people at, man? Right. The station. Yes. I appreciate everybody, man. Heard about Waterhead and Brandon Butler, the consultant. Right. Just shouts out to all y'all, man. We appreciate y'all, man. One time to the frat, Rubras. Tomorrow's our birthday. What you doing tomorrow, man? Man, I'm going to try to go swing that club for a little while, man, and probably get back to them kids, man. I got three young ones, man. I spend most of my time at the house. I got three young ones. You ain't going to come out and drink a beer for Cooper Coleman, Justin Love? I certainly will. You let me know where you are, and I'll be there. Okay. All right. Next week, y'all. And before I go, blessings over burdens. Make sure that's the front and the first thought that's on your mind. Because whatever you're thinking about is what it's going to be. Think about the good, not the bad. Blessings over burdens. I'm a cute. I'm a cute. When I was knee high, I tend to be acute. And now I'm 25, damn right. I'm a cute. And a step show one day. I'm a cute. Yeah, when we get second place, I'm a cute. Break my LB, dust them off, I'm a Q Drop chicken on the floor, brush it off, I'm a Q Oh, I am still out, hanging with the Q I'm a Q, I'm a Q You know how it is when you roll with the Q's You know how it is when you roll with the Q's You know how it is when you roll with the Q's You know how it is when you roll with the Q's you know you know I guess by now y'all can tell I'm a Q I Ain't trying to talk down, just saying I'm a Q Still got love for the those who ain't cute. Some of my tightest pockets ain't no cues. They know one thing for sure. I'm a cute. Duty calls gotta go. No offense, I'm a cute. And they got my backstage line for the cues. I'm a cute. I'm a cute. Mama told me long time ago about them cues. Told me I could go Greek, but don't be a cute. It was in my nature to go and be a girl. Even in preschool, mama knew I was a girl. Girl, ask me my name, I told her I'm a cute. Teacher, ask me my name, I told her I'm a cute. Cop phone, ID, I tell them I'm a cute. I'm a cute. I'm a cute. You know how it is when you go with the cues. You know how it is.